She was just all covered in grass. We decided to just bring her home. She was very weak and very, very tired. Peggy didn't want to go anywhere near her. She was really scared. Obviously, I kept an eye on both of them together. And Peggy was going closer and closer and started sniffing her beak. The fact that we were paying attention to this little one, she was curious to find out what was going on. She wanted to get to know Peggy. They'd just lie next to each other, not touching, but they'd lie in the vicinity of. And then one day I looked down and they were both snuggled down on the floor together. And I was like, oh wow. From then on, it was just always snuggling together and they were never apart. It was so beautiful. taking on the role as mother. <laughs> For some reason I didn't notice but she was producing milk. And I brought her home and I said to my partner, I think Peggy might be pregnant. I took her to the vet and she wasn't pregnant. She was having an phantom pregnancy for the little bird. Well, she said it's quite common for a dog to produce milk, especially if they're nurturing something. Very protective of her. Molly will just go and sit on Peggy's back and go to sleep. Wherever Peggy goes, Molly's chase following her. Peggy's brought her up and she copies everything Peggy does. I do believe that Molly thinks that Peggy is her mum and she's a dog and Peggy thinks that Molly is her daughter and she's a bird. They play with everything together, they play with balls and all the toys that Peggy plays with, Molly plays with them just the same way. Peggy's always loved just sitting out in the backyard looking at the trees and looking at the birds and Molly's always done the same. And so they've been sitting there together. They love to sit there and watch the rain. They'll just groom each other. Peggy will pick Molly's feathers and Molly will see food on her face, she'll take it off. It's just beautiful. They're here to spread love. <laughs>